The first thing I want to do is explain the copy paste problem that exists inside of Vim and VS Code. So right now I got my VS Code editor and I'm running Vim on it. Suppose I want to change sidebar here, right? There's three instances of sidebar. Suppose I want to change that to be footer. So I do a VIW on footer, which is going to select the word and then press Y to yank it. Then what I can do is go to the sidebar and then do a VIWP. And what I would technically want to do is do the same thing for this sidebar and this sidebar. I want to do a VIWP and I want to do a VIWP here. But the issue occurs when you're doing a VIWP, which is selecting the inner word and pasting it with what was in the previous register. You see what happens is that when you do a VIWP, Vim is going to replace what was in your old register. So let me just undo this real quick. So let me do a VIWY to yank it. And then I'm going to do a VIWP. And when I do a VIWP here, you expect footer, right? You expect this to be changed to footer. But what actually happened is that it was changed to sidebar. So when I press P right there, when I press P, um, it actually did replace it, but it replaced it with what was in the register, which was sidebar, it wasn't footer anymore. The most optimal way to do this would be to do a VIW yank and then do a VIW to select sidebar and then use a VS code command called command D. So command D is going to select the next iteration of the selected word. And then I want to press P, but you'll see this issue, this issue, because uh, basically Vim is replacing what was in the previous register. So you get this weird sort of issue where you're not actually pasting what you expect. You're not pasting footer three times. And so you get this really annoying issue. And so today we're going to talk about how to fix that issue inside of VS Code. But before we dive into how to actually fix the problem, I want to give you guys with an alternative method to solve the same problem using a VS code command. So let me show you guys what I mean. So I could do a VIW yank to yank footer. And once I do that, I can do VIW and then do command D three times. And now I can do a VS code command. I can replace this with command V, which is obviously, you know, control V if you're on windows. And so if you do that, then you'll get exactly what you want. You'll get footer is, you know, sidebar is going to be replaced with footer. So what we could be doing is we could every time we do a multi select replace, we could use the VS code command to press command V. And that would work and that would basically fix my solution. But then comes the real problem here. This is the biggest problem for me. And that is that it is suboptimal. I hate doing things that are suboptimal, even if it means it's one extra key press. So now let's take a look at how to actually fix this issue. Well, what you gotta do is go to your settings.json and you can do so by pressing command shift P and then you can just look for settings.json and the setting that you wanna add is this one right over here. So let's take a look at what this setting is doing. This command is gonna run uh, when we're in Vim visual key bindings mode. When we press P, what we're gonna do is replace the action that occurs inside of Vim's with this action right over here. And that action is clipboard paste action inside of VS code itself. So when we're in Vim visual mode and then we press P, so we do like a VIWP, what it's actually gonna do is replace that command with clipboard paste action. So it's gonna replace P with pressing, you know, command V on Mac or control V on Windows. So let me go through a couple examples. So check this out. Now that I added that setting, let's see what we get. So I could do a VIW yank. And this time, if I do a VIW P, I'm not actually doing Vim's paste command. I'm doing a VS Code's clipboard paste action, which is as if I'm pressing command V. So now if I do a VIW P, you'll notice that I didn't replace what was in the previous register. And I can do it again and again and again. And this basically fixes uh, Vim's copy paste issue. And let me show you guys another example. So I can do a VIWY and let's check out the most optimal way to solve this issue, right? I can do a VIW to select the word command D. And then this time I'm going to press P and there you have it. 
I know most of you guys are probably thinking, what did I just watch for the past five minutes? But for me, this was a very useful technique because it saves me a lot of time whenever I don't have to press Command V, I can just press P and that fixes my suboptimal way of living inside of VS Code. And hopefully it does the same for some of you guys out there who are as picky as me when it comes to optimizing your setup. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button because it really does help me out and consider subscribing for more uh, suboptimal content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.